Happy Sunday, 12 November 2023, and happy Sunday if it's a Sunday when you're viewing this, be it the Sunday I'm filming this or not. And happy day and time of viewing when you're viewing this, and happy place of viewing wherever you're viewing this from. So I'm going to recap my health and wellness from this past week, Monday 6 to Sunday 12 November 2023. It was more social in the beginning of the week. And my mental and physical health were solid, which was very good as both of my parents had COVID-19. So I'm just like, <laughs> yeah. Okay, so that's the introduction to week summary. Then we have social. So socials, I fed the critters all of their meals this week. And yep. And then there were, I had my interactions while walking slash running. It was... There's been a little bit of a decline, like a consistent, there's been like a little decline with the colder and wetter weather and falling debris and stuff like that on my route. And it has, that decline kind of from the past week or two, like before this, has sustained. Um, though there were more runners. No, it, it's been quieter than it was in like in August, September, October. Uh, well, or August, September to mid-October kind of thing. Uh, and then my parents had COVID-19 and I live with them and they're retired. So I've been spending a lot of time in this room and wearing this if I go down the stairs. <laughs> so, yep. Other outings with social interactions included PCC Community Markets, a community market slash grocery store on Monday. Quality Food Centers, QFC, a grocery store on Monday. Pagliasha Pizza, a pizza restaurant on Monday. Shoreline Library, a public library on Tuesday. Fred Meyer, a department store on Tuesday. At 76, a gas station on Tuesday. Richmond Beach Library, a public library on Tuesday. Richmond Beach Library, a public library on Saturday. The Shoreline B Library was at the library and it was a drop box at the library. And I wasn't the only person returning my ballot, my voter's ballot kind of thing. And then the next category is mental. So it was a calmer, more relaxing week. Yeah, so uh, the internal transformation stuff lingers a little bit um, as to like something comes up and I'm like, I would not, I would have struggled with this or not done this before. And it's, I, it still clicks that it's something that I would not have or I've done before. And, but it's still like, this is something I thought of as not possible, but it's becoming easier to get those like, non-routine things to work through through kind of thing okay uh writing and photography on yelp reached 12 written and published reviews for november 2023 uh reached 378 written and published reviews for the 2023 year thus far and increased my all-time personal best for number of reviews in any one calendar year yep and then I reached 488 check-ins for the 2023 year per my tracking. It's higher on Yelp for my total number of check-ins. Um, I don't know where that difference comes in. So it's per my tracking. Um, and for all of them, I don't know where that... Yeah, it, anyway, um, so there's a new all-time personal best for me for any one calendar year. So that was writing and photography on Yelp. Then writing for Lucky Wallaby Courier. So did eating slash food, including eating restrictions slash challenges and leftovers. Yes, there was a strong focus on eating everything I had bought. And then, you know, it slowly stores up because it's stuff I don't necessarily normally eat. So then making room in my diet for it kind of thing. Uh, dining arrangement displacement due to COVID-19. Um, oh, that's part of the food thing. Yeah, so documenting a dinner at home during the COVID-19. Not during the COVID-19 pandemic, but when my parents had COVID-19, we didn't sit in our normal places. So actually documenting that. Wildlife and aircraft for squirrels. Yes. Last week as well. Yep. Yeah. Athletic performance contextualizations, including performance during training. Yes. Um, <laughs> all of the stuff I do in training uh, will impact the rest of my day. So it's contextualized in my life. It's part of my life story. So actually providing a little bit of perspective on that and what that it looks like and that kind of thing. And so, and then online retailer delivery. So I had my uh, Amazon unboxing on Sunday last week and then another one this past Tuesday, which is like the seventh, I think. Uh, movie analysis slash analyses and then landscaping slash outdoor space utilization. Okay, YouTube, themed day of the week videos continued. 
Uh-huh. And I had at least one sweet and or savory yeast video each day filmed and published the same day with me in it. To me, Tannis Corley Leonardi. It's my YouTube channel, Tannis Leonardi. Uh, I did a reflection on eating slash YouTube challenge, challenge, challenges um, and thinking about that classification of a challenge kind of thing. Uh, video on a longer temporary hiatus in, or what was a longer hiatus? A longer hiatus in new video production to instead focus on things like curation, coordination, and consumption. So that was the talking a hypothetical of like a six year break or that kind of thing. Or also talking the hypothetical of like an emergency situation where I just can't upload or produce new video content kind of thing. And then hypothetical wedding planning. So yes, the Chad Leclerc wedding. Um, addressing that directly, those videos go back if we want to include like my first like Italian word of the day for C si or yes. Uh, that came out in January 2023. So it's and I think it was over 10 months ago. So yeah, so it's a not not necessarily uh, in it's not an entirely new topic to this channel and I think I was talk I talked a bit about it in 2022 um mentioning my soulmate slash soulmates by name um that kind of stuff that kind of started rolling out on the channel in early like the first half of 2022 so that that kind of topic but the explicit like definition of terminology like C as in yes that was for January 2023 so that is over 10 months ago now um so yeah <clears throat> yeah and all of, and I'm talked about I might go this coming week and, and do a wedding cake tasting and do a sweet ease of that but there's um some stuff like the rehearsal dinner what would we get to eat the wedding uh, reception dinner uh what would we get to eat so I might return to some places and I already have stuff in mind or stuff I've tasted but maybe not all put together or there's stuff I'm that kind of stuff or a place like that comes to mind for a wedding cake and I'm like I should go and actually see what they have and I, that kind of stuff all right up next reading so that's this last week that the hypothetical stuff but that's a continuing thing um at least yeah and has been like sporadically kind of addressed um for if we include the na explicit naming of my soulmate since for like over a year and a half now a approximately okay <clears throat> so what's yeah that's that's about right yeah actually so uh, approximately 18 months now. Um, okay reading beyond the idea how to execute innovation in any organization by vj govindarajan and chris trimble september 2013 first edition hardcover read pages 1 through 178 started and finished the book and there is a notes video uh in the lucky wallaby courier playlist as well as my movie and book lists playlist okay finances i made 30 dollars cleaning my parents part of the house I wore my mask <laughs> when I was cleaning. Uh, current sweet and or savory eats videos fund, including gas expenses at $242.34. I spent $11.85 uh, since the fund was at $254.19 on Sunday, 5 November 2023, last Sunday. It covered 14 videos, 24 products, and zero gas fueling. I know, I know, it felt like I spent that much little money because of how much I repeated products and finished them. Um, like if I bought a container, finished the container, that kind of stuff. There was a lot of stuff like that, which is good. No wasting food. Okay. And then I worked on wording in an education section, on my LinkedIn profile. I, I did that today and I'm returning to it after this video, um, today. Uh, if, and I don't get it, and if I don't get it done today, it's not done today. <laughs> I'm not, and I'm not going to work on it this next week, but it is a today task. Um, and so that's, it had some really awkward wording in, one of my education sections so I'm trying to work on that okay up last is physical so that's a diet slash food and exercise I did good on maintenance uh food intake slash weight regulation I did have some PMS water weight regulation so for PMS water weight retention um I'm doing good I'm yeah I'm I'm pleased with this past week especially with the food challenge and like yeah I I, I did good and yeah uh, parents both tested negative for COVID-19 on Sunday. So today, dad was the first to test negative. He tested er negative like I think earlier in the week, but it was like two days ago or something like that. Um, running, I made my workouts five out of five days. I ran 100% of the running distance without music one day. 
so that's the thing I would say if I did it two days or just one day, I would bring it up now. Yeah, I so before I even started running on one of my 5.80 mile walk runs with 3.64 miles of running, I turned my music off before I even started running. And my times were fast. And I, I, I did not listen to music, I think, for all the way through for all of my walk runs this week. So it's been, uh, it's been the gradual stepping off on music is turning to be out to be far more effective than I thought it would be. Like, well, there you go. Uh, okay. Rowing, I made my workout six out of six days. Strength training, I made my workout six out of six days. Uh, cleaning house slash yard work, I made all my workouts two days. And stationary bicycle, I made my workout one day. So in conclusion, it was a good week. I'll put some links to some of my playlists in the video description. Uh, if I have space, there's a character count limit, at least currently. Um, and so I will, it's like stuff like my health and wellness check-ins playlist, like you wallaby courier, sweet eats, savory eats, athletic performance contextualizations, because I did stuff a little bit different there. Navigating my retirement account, which is where some of the funding comes from for my for save, uh, sweet and or savory eats videos. And then what I ate in 24 hours, 5 to 6 November 2023. So that was my 24 hour eating slash YouTube challenge attempt. So happy health and wellness to you again, whenever you are viewing this and wherever you are viewing this.